My name is Tom Furness, and I'm the team leader for the Vigilant team in Seattle, Washington. My background is a varied background. I spent the first 23 years of my career designing fighter cockpits for the military. It's just like the change that happened in the telephone system, where we had to depend upon a switchboard operator to make our calls to patch us into another call. The paradigm shift that took place was to make everybody a telephone operator when we dialed our own numbers. And that's what I think the tricorder will do. It makes all of us physicians in a way. Here is a prototype of our technology. This is called the Orca. It uh, uses our Chroma ID technology. And inside of this device, in this particular configuration of it, we have 12 emitters that emit the photons. For example, you can place this on your skin, you can put it over your ear, you look at it with your eye, and each time you do this, you get the photons that are sent out probe what's going on. And then with the detectors that we have in here, the light detectors that go all the way from infrared, ultraviolet, will tell us what are the photons bringing back. From that, we are able to discern with this, this collection of data, and we can search our databases and determine what conditions exist in the patient. One of the problems with the practice of medicine now, especially with physicians, is they generally don't see the patients until they're sick and they don't have a good baseline necessarily of what the patient's like when they're well. This way they will have that and be able to look at the differences. I'm really concerned about the old people. I'm concerned about the lives they have. We're able to extend their lives, but what about the quality of their lives? I know that my mother had conditions that had they been diagnosed earlier, she may be still alive today. And I hate the way that my mother spent her last three years on the earth. And um, it was really sad. And I think about my grandchildren and what kind of life they're going to have. And um, that I don't want the same thing to happen to them. I don't want the same thing to happen to me. And so I believe that there is a rev revolution happening along with the technology that gives us mobility to combine that with the measurement tools that basically puts the same kind of instrumentation that the doctors are using into the hands of the people.